Hello and welcome to sleephypnosisweekly.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly or is it Weekly Sleep Hypnosis? One of them. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes and I am so tired which is quite a good time to go to sleep it's quite a nice time to just relax so I thought I would do in this recording is ask you to first of all get yourself comfortable so if you're lying on your bed make sure you're comfortable so if that means changing uh, your bodily position during this recording then do that do whatever you need to feel comfortable because that's the most important thing your well-being your safety and your comfort and uh, I'm sitting in my big black squeaky chair <sighs> And I'm going to try not to fall asleep while I talk to you. Which may be a little bit difficult because God, the amount of times that I've nearly fell asleep whilst making recordings and the amount of times I actually have fallen asleep is, uh, I think it's natural really because. I'm kind of, although I'm talking to you, I'm also hearing those words myself. So I'm saying it out loud. So in a sense, it's as if somebody is talking to me in a kind of a weird way. So I'm giving myself suggestions of comfort and relaxation and sleepiness so I suppose in a way it's self-hypnosis but verbally out loud although it's not loud but I imagine most people that do self-hypnosis and give yourself those positive suggestions would be kind of internal, an internal voice rather than a, a speaking out loud voice. But it might not. I suppose everybody's different and there are no rules. Especially if you're in your own bed, you're in your own home, it's up to you if you want to speak out loud, it's no one else's business. So what I thought we'd try, not try, I thought we'd, what we'd do is either talk out loud or say, you know, talk to ourselves internally and I'm just going to give you a few things to say and you can just repeat them if you choose to and this is I suppose it's kind of based on affirmations 
It's based on a very old technique of, I suppose, talking to ourselves, but purposely, with purpose. Because, let's face it, we talk to ourselves anyway, and we always listen to ourselves, but we don't always have nice things to listen to, because we don't always say nice things to ourselves. And this may seem like a generalization, but I would say it's pretty a pretty good guess that you, just like me just like most people are not always as kind to ourselves as we could be verbally internally maybe externally as well so what this is, is replacing those internal thoughts and those internal sentences that maybe are unhelpful in your quest to sleep naturally, easily. And it's having something to replace those specific sentences that are of no use to you, which is useful. Something to replace it with, something, I suppose you could say, the opposite. But another way of looking at it would be you replacing something that is harmful, something that gets in the way of you sleeping easily and naturally, and replace it with a thought and a sentence, words, self-talk that actually motivates you and feels positive and supports you towards sleeping easier and in a natural healing manner. Now just like you to focus on what thoughts are going on in your mind as you focus on wanting to go to sleep. So let's say for example you're lying down on your bed and you just want to go to sleep. It's, you're not asking for the world, you're not asking to go you know, to ride on the back of a dinosaur, you're just, you just want to go to sleep. Arguably the most natural thing in the world. Going to sleep is natural. So I'm wondering what thoughts are going on in your mind regarding going to sleep. I'm not going to make a few guesses. A few guesses that are things that might be there. Of course I'm not going to be able to guess every single scenario. 
but I notice some people listen to this when they think about going to bed, think about going to sleep. They're actually visualizing and expecting to be awake, expecting to toss and turn, expecting to maybe look at their clock or their phone and see that another hour's passed and they're still awake and they're getting closer and closer towards the time when they would need to get out of bed to go to work or wherever they need to be at. And then there's that visualization of getting up and feeling rubbish and, you know, that whole process. Uh, maybe a reenactment of previous times from the past. And that is very selective thinking very selective because the majority of times in the past you would have got out of bed gone to work or gone to college or gone to school or whatever it is you do gone to take, taking the dog for a walk and things would have been fairly okay So with that selective thinking and by focusing on the negative aspect of what might happen instead of thinking oh I might wake up tomorrow and feel completely relaxed and calm raring to go feeling energized regardless of how much sleep you get you can still feel energized and still look forward to the day ahead and thinking that way can in fact it must have a different result to thinking in a negative way and expecting negative results because those that expect negative results and focus constantly on negative results are much more likely to attract those negative results So if you think about it in that way, that those things that you expect to feel relaxed and calm and sleepy, it's more likely that you will feel relaxed, calm and sleepy. When you have those thoughts those thoughts may be that oh you're going to toss and turn and you won't get any sleep and you feel crap in the morning changing that changing that thought those words to I'm going to sleep fine I'm going to wake up feeling refreshed looking forward to the day ahead and I'm going to have a good sleep easily naturally you can visualize if you want yourself just laying down feeling completely relaxed feeling completely exhausted in fact physically as that stress just drains from your body through your bed as if the as if the mattress of your bed soaks any stress every last bit of anxiety stress 
any of that stuff just sucking it right out of the bones and the muscles of your body so that you feel so relaxed to the point where it is even you could even say it's pleasurable a pleasant sensation and you can enjoy that feeling you can enjoy knowing that not only is sleeping the most natural thing in the world but feeling completely relaxed also is one of those amazing experiences that you can enjoy really really appreciate your natural ability to let go and although you can expect to feel completely relaxed and sleep you don't have to do anything don't have to do anything and you realize that when you expect something to happen it's more likely to occur which means you can then be more selective about those things that you choose to focus on especially when it comes to time to go to bed to relax and just to let go completely and let go totally in every single possible way your bones your muscles all the internal organs your skin your face your brain all relaxing and feeling sleepy naturally and easily sleepy as those things that you say to yourself reminding yourself how easily you can just drift off to sleep how easily you can enjoy that sensation of just laying down on your bed without without even caring about anything or anyone in that moment you let go completely of all thoughts all dreams all past issues any worries that you may have had it all drops onto the floor It all drops onto the floor. And that sense of sleepiness continues to grow. Continues to somehow fill your body with a sense of expectation, a kind of you may not be sure what it is that you're expecting but you know that what you'd like to expect is to fall asleep easily and naturally you'd 
like to just drift off without having to do anything just being in the moment and allowing yourself to feel that sense of increased comfort and know that the more relaxed you feel the more sleepy you will feel and the more sleepy that you feel the more relaxed your spine feels so relaxed sending those messages of comfort and sleepiness all the way down your spine to every single part of your body sending that message of sleep sleep is the message that you feel in every part of your body It's as if you can even see the right in sleep on the different parts of your body just soaking into each part, sending that individual part of your body fast asleep without having to do or needing to do or say anything and you can say to yourself if you choose I deserve to sleep naturally I deserve to sleep deeply You can repeat that after me if you choose to do so. You may be too tired to bother with repeating words and you may just want to go to sleep and not participate due to how tired you feel right now and your whole body is connected to your mind with this intention of just letting go completely of any stress or anxiety or discomfort vanishes from your body and your mind it's as if the the past and the present and the future have all vanished so no longer have any relevance at all to anything
you can enjoy that feeling of comfort and being able to just do what comes naturally and sleep easily And even with background sounds or anything like that, it doesn't matter because this is your safe space. This is your safe sleeping space where you can just appreciate your natural ability to allow yourself to give yourself permission to let go of everything to let go of all thoughts past, present, future and let it all fall to the floor Instead of going forward or backwards or standing still, you're moving to the side. Moving towards that tunnel of sleep. That tunnel between being awake and sleeping deeply. And you can tell yourself the sleeping is easy. can tell yourself that things are going to be okay. You can enjoy just being you. You can appreciate yourself and recognize your natural ability to get in touch with that sense of sleep, that sense of tiredness. You can let go completely, let go completely, and you can say to yourself, sleeping is easy, you 
you can say to yourself sleeping is natural You can think to yourself how good it feels to be so completely relaxed. be in touch with that part of you that allows you to sleep so very deeply to sleep is so natural so very natural To allow yourself to let go, to allow yourself to drift away. It feels so nice. To not be pushing or pulling. To not be holding on to something. To not be avoiding anything. Feels so good. Feels so relaxing. Feels so tired, so tired. This feels, this feels so nice. 